here I like to show you some stuff just to kind of show you action reaction in action I guess you can say just the way it's all this was yesterday and I when I saw this happen yesterday I used this and I said okay we want to uh, I'm going to show you a lot of these things here see the markets come down and then you have this big reaction swing headed down here there's several ways to look at it first one I'm going to do this so there's your 50 percent so I'm going to mark the exact center of it of the reaction swing see there use the sideways pitchfork this is what we do is when you can use this to project kind of prices because as we say as we say you know as above that area you should get pretty much the same thing below that's your action reaction and you can see what happens here so in other words right at this time if you had a sell right here we're confirmed to sell you had your zigzag pattern that gives you your target price another fun way to look at it is let's see if I can get this I'm gonna try to see what I tried to line this median line with this low to this high look where it comes out together and then let's just throw on this pitchfork look where the median line comes together pretty important area right there how they all tend together so your action reaction your market structure so it just has to be you know where it comes out when you have the setup you can see where you have the setup it just comes out together and then if you want to you look at this you can say okay where is you know you come down here here's your first little reaction swing right here there's your cell drops down here there's your next one and then you use that to project down further let's just do this one more part to the puzzle now I haven't done this so if it doesn't work out don't be okay look at that okay right here we didn't get the exact low but I think that's enough right there so you have your time and price all coming together and you see these things over and over again it's most important though it, it won't work if you try to just pull up any chart and just throw that on there at any time it won't work you have to wait until the the market is set up you find the reaction swings the per you know and right here what do you have see you have the little side and then you come here here's your little ABC pattern we've looked at that already um, in the euro currency we saw that and uh, what are them a couple other markets we saw that where you get your little ABC and remember I said that identifies the center of the cycle you learn that that's all you need to know that's all you need to know but let's do this let's play another game the market consolidates this is overnight here kind of a consolidation and of course this is at night you'd have to be trading at night to get this and you had a big gap here but uh, I just wanted to show you okay so you go here so there's your action the market uh, not exactly perfect but still comes along here pretty good see even out here 
See how the market zooms up to this center line? And this is during the day. It moves up, and what does it do? It comes back. It forms your reaction swing. It forms your reaction swing, which gives you ah, a failure there. See, now that would have triggered a buy. Not every one of these things work out, so that's why you have to stop. So there's your swing pattern failure. Came back down here again into this 60 in, and now another extra, maybe a little buy right here so you can get in here. But I just want to show you how important these lines are, how they continue, this action reaction, how it continues to be important. See how important it is up here? Little swing pattern failure here all the way along. It remains important.